Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make potion effect swords in Minecraft. This is a new feature they added using the custom enchantments feature that has been added uh, brand new in 1.21. Uh, this is super useful because before, uh, in order to get uh, potion effects to apply off of sword hits, um, you used to have to do a lot of command workarounds. I actually did have a class uh, in the game that uh, I'm the mini game I'm making that had potion swords. But what it required for you to do is run a chain of command blocks, basically testing if you dealt damage. And I ended up making like an AOE damage effect. Um, so like, you know, if I dealt damage, it would affect the surrounding entities with a certain potion effect. But this way, what I can end up doing is uh, I can apply any potion effect directly with the weapon that I'm using um, instead of having to have like command testers with damage values and whatnot. So this is all done in a data pack. Uh, so this sword has poisonous on it. So basically what it's going to do is when I hit this creeper, it's going to get poisoned. Just like so, you can see the green particles coming out of it and you can see that it is taking damage. Uh, so yeah, that I mean, that's pretty much it for sh uh, showing you in game what's going on. Let's get into the commands. In order to get your game to recognize these enchantments as real enchantments, you're going to need to add it to your data pack. Uh, so I'm just going to assume you know how to make data packs already. Uh, if you don't, then there's plenty of videos out there that teach you how to make data packs. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the data folder. We're going to go into the Minecraft folder, not your namespace folder. And then you're going to need to make a folder called enchantment and then that is where you're going to put all of your special new enchantments. This did take me an excessive amount of time, so please subscribe because this actually took a while for me to learn. I tried to find other YouTube videos to see if anyone else has, um, you know, done an example of how to do this, but there were pretty much no examples. So I had to figure out a lot of this myself. Um, so here we go. So this is baseline what you need to do um to get the um enchantment to work so all of this code uh at least from here down is completely necessary this stuff i think is also necessary uh just to have it in the values don't matter as much if you're using this for a custom map uh but these values at the bottom uh they basically involve like how often this enchantment would show up when you enchant an item in an enchantment table so uh, if I were to try and enchant this at an enchantment table, I think there would be a random chance uh, for anything that is a weapon to get this enchantment. Um, so let's let's just break it down real quick. So uh, this is what we're going to be looking at for the most part. The name up here isn't super important. This is how I got it to um, be called poisonous, so the enchantment itself. Uh, but other than that, you have... Um, this is how you affect it... Um, with a weapon. So when I swing my sword and I hit a target, uh, it will apply a potion effect. So we go post attack and then affected victim means like, um, basically when I hit someone with the sword, uh, they get this potion effect, but I could change this to affected attacker and it could make it so that, you know, if I hit someone, I get an effect so that, that is, that is something that you could do as well. But for this example, I'm going to be use affected victim, which is basically the target that you hit is going to have this potion effect applied to them. Uh, so basically what you do is you do that. Uh, enchanted attacker means that the attacker has to have the enchanted weapon. If you were to um, specify this as enchanted victim, then what would happen if you like flip flop these, for example, you could put this on armor set. And be like, hey, when I take damage, um, you get poisoned. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It wouldn't work with these requirements, though. I, I think you would have to have an, a random chance tag, which I can do in a later video. But for now, we're going to be focusing on the sword. Uh, you have to do... all Basically, all of this is necessary. Uh, we're, we ha You have to do apply mob effect. Uh, all of means you can apply multiple effects. Um, so you could, you could specify multiple effects. I think you would have to do a whole new bracket and do like the minimum max and all of that and just apply that again. Um, and then this 
is all of the specifications for that effect. So this is going to apply poison one because it has an amplifier of zero um, chosen randomly between a five second and a 10 second duration. Now, I don't really like that, so I'm probably just going to change it to a six second duration um, just flat. And so that will always pick six. You can't have a min duration higher than a max duration or the command will fail. Um, but yeah, so that, that's pretty much it for that. Um, so without further ado, I'm actually going to go ahead and make another, um, enchantment for you guys. Just, you know, while we're here, uh, I'm actually doing this because I, I wanted to rework the class that I was showing you guys, uh, with the chain of command blocks. I wanted to make it a lot simpler. So that's why I was motivated to do this for you guys and just show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, so let's do, um, I'm just I'm just gonna call it cold for now, maybe even like freezing. Okay, so we'll we'll make freezing. So I just made this new file. I copied it as the poisonous one because it has the same syntax I'm going to use. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it with Visual Studio Code, and then we're gonna rename the name to freezing. Uh, we're gonna keep all of this the same, and then but we're just gonna change this from poison to slowness and then we're going to change the amplifier to one in both locations we're going to keep all of this the same we're going to go ahead and save and now we're going to find our enchantments except for it's not there yet and even when you reload it's not going to be there yet because for these you actually have to restart your game in order for it to work properly so let's go ahead and do that you know what i'm doing um, and so now we can look up freezing and we do have freezing as the, as an enchanted book. The nice thing is you can, whenever you create a new enchantment, as soon as you reload the game, uh, it becomes an enchanted book. So you can easily just apply it. You don't even have to use any commands. So we're going to put freezing on the sword. We're going to summon a creeper. And we're going to hit it with the sword and it has slowness. So just like that. We've got a new potion sword, super easy. It'll, it even works with the um, with the sweeping edge effect, which is really cool. So yeah, that that's super sick. And uh, obviously, just to show you that this is not just like a damage effect. If I try to punch this creeper just with my fist, it doesn't do anything. So this is a sword specific effect. We can even get out the poisonous sword again. So we'll take that uh, and we'll go ahead and apply that enchantment this creeper and then yeah so the poisonous still works so we have these two different types of potion swords and so pretty much you can make any different type of potion effect um apply whenever you deal damage with a weapon so this is obviously really useful for map makers as i've explained before we've we've had these arrows before that you know do all the different effects and you can go through with um command generators or just yourself and um get all of these different types of arrows with custom potion effects and whatnot. Um, but you haven't really been able to do it with melee weapons before without a big command workaround. So this is super cool. Just thought I would show you guys and I uh, hope you enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.